Hello artists and welcome back to another video of me saying I am applying to X course. Uh, I really hope that uh, this channel isn't going to become a meme of me just being rejected by every postgraduate course in the, uh, <laughs> in the country. But um, as you can see from the title of this video, uh, I am applying to the postgraduate course at the Royal Drawing School called The Drawing Year. So in this video, I'll give a little introduction to the Royal Drawing School. I did the foundation course at the Royal Drawing School, and I will also go through a little bit of some of the work that's coming out of the postgraduate drawing year. So as I said, I did the uh, foundation course uh, the year before I did my degree at the Royal Drawing School Foundation. And um, honestly speaking, that year, I learned more within that year than I did at the three years uh, at my course on my course at University of the Arts London. During that foundation year, I was actually exposed to the postgraduate kind of drawing year as well, because we were invited to the end of year exhibitions and also had access to their campus in Shoreditch, where we used to have lectures every single Wednesday alongside the uh, postgraduate year students. Some of those students actually went on to qualify as tutors who taught within the Royal Drawing School complex itself. So I even had uh, a couple of uh, sessions or drawing sessions or lessons, I should be saying, um, from previous students from the drawing year too. The, the lectures that I went to every, I think it was every Wednesday evening about 5.30 to 7.30, Wednesday was like a really long day. We wouldn't be leaving sometimes until uh, until like after even eight sometimes. Was it 5.30 to 7.30? I remember it was a very late evening on that Wednesday, but what I loved about the foundation so much is it, is it was very full time and you just packed so much into kind of each day. There was lots of work to do. I don't know, <laughs> I'm someone where if I'm really, the fact that I'm really studying art and I I guess I love doing art when I have lots of work that makes me happy. Um, one of the things that I was a bit gutted about during university was we weren't really set much work um, by the university itself. Although, of course, that's when I had to switch where I was like, OK, I need to set myself the work. But the lectures on the Wednesday mostly consisted of visiting artists who presented their ideas and their work. So um, some actually quite well known contemporary artists used to come and present there and it was quite nice because it wasn't like a massive hall with a million people and you know you we had a question and answer afterwards so we actually had the opportunity as young dumb students uh i'll speak for myself i guess <laughs> um but for a question and answer you could just put up your hand and ask them about their practice or their ideas um, or whatever it is that you wanted to ask but i'm um, i'm genuinely excited that if i I guess if I did get in, I would be kind of put back into that context of the Royal Drawing School and everything they do there, the kind of the foundation of how you think about art is built with like drawing uh, through tra traditional means and observational drawing as a foundation to your practice, um, which is something that I've kind of gone away from and then come back. But when it comes to how I think about composition, how I design, whether it be digitally or traditionally, the foundation year that I had at the Royal Drawing School had such a huge influence on my, I guess, observational skills, the way I think about putting an image together and pretty much defines my practice even today. And of course, if I get in, I will definitely be documenting as much as I am allowed and can during the course, because not only do they provide an engaging program, but they also provide independent studio spaces for every single student on the course, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, oh man, I am, I'm just gonna, why am I making YouTube videos? I should be preparing my portfolio. So let's take a look at some of the work that they are showing on the site for the uh, postgraduate drawing year. Um, you can see that there's actually a mix of both more realism slash a mix of realism and abstraction and even more abstract stuff, but I'll choose, I'll choose a few. If I'm correct, I believe this is actually the work of Chris Green, who actually taught a couple of lessons on the foundation course when I was there in 2015. His drawing skills and observation is just beyond me. And if you pay close attention to how he's put this piece together, you can actually see it's many smaller panels building up a larger picture. And if I remember correctly, 
he actually does these pieces on the site itself. So he's not just copying a photo, it's actually direct observational drawing. This here is <laughs> so London, uh, pretty grey looking and grey looking people. Uh, <laughs> the, the details of the uh, architecture here though, uh, these bits are absolutely stunning. The work isn't labelled so I don't know whose uh, this is but I love how gentle this curtain drawing is. So for the portfolio I need to submit 10 drawings and 10 of any other works. Of course I'm going to be submitting my paintings for those 10 other works and I'm currently putting a mixture of my drawings uh, together and doing some new work before the deadline on April the 7th. Um, I really need to kind of communicate how drawing has a relationship, I guess, with my painting practice. So that gives me about a month and a half to prepare. As I do prepare, I plan on documenting as much of this as possible. So come the deadline, April 7th, I'll probably come up with a video, maybe middle of April, um, showing how I put everything together and what portfolio I submitted for the course. And then hopefully positive uh, feedback from them or an interview or something, please. But for anyone who hasn't heard of the Royal Drawing School before, if you are looking to do a foundation course and you are young and you know going into and you, you can access London, then look no further than the Royal Drawing School Foundation. Honestly, I cannot see another foundation topping the experience that I had. I will probably do a whole video on the foundation at the Royal Drawing School one day, hopefully, um, once I get my act together. But as for the postgraduate course, you are my competition if you apply this year. So let us fight for a place, not physically fight. Otherwise, I might get stabbed with a pallet knife. As always, you can leave questions in the comments below or you can drop me a DM on Instagram. I wish you all the best for your artistic endeavors. And here is my awkward goodbye. <laughs>